In the past, I've given some advice on how to create a password, what to avoid, like singular dictionary words, or even character substitution of single words, and going more for passphrases, multiple words with leet speak or there, and the other option is completely random passwords. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video, how to create a completely random password with the Linux terminal. Hey, we're Linux users, love using the terminal, don't we? Um, well, most of us do. But I'm going to talk about a tool called PWGen, one of my favourites. Creates random passwords that are still pronounceable and easy enough to write down, should you want to write them down. Like I do, I keep all mine in a book. Try hacking this book. Oh wait, that requires physical access, doesn't it? PWGen is an open source tool and I would expect it's available in most or all Linux repositories. So let's take a look at how to use it. Well, before I show you the tool, I'll just give you a couple of other options. There's the OpenSSL random function using base64 characters and choose a length, 24, or any more characters, 32. Completely random, not particularly easy to write down. Although pretty much uncrackable. You could do something like this, and then pipe it through to md5sum, and create a hash from it, or a SHA-256sum. Or you could use the Unix timestamp of number of seconds since 1970, in which case if anyone wants to try and crack that, they've got to guess the number. And again, you can pipe it through to a SHA or md5sum, like so. Anyway, pwgen. You can just type the command as is, and it will create a bunch of random passwords. Or the syntax to use is password length and number of passwords you would like to create. So I could have one password, or create a few more passwords. So let's look at some of what we have here. Does that look pronounceable? Those, almost. Do any of these? Yeah, we can see some combinations of, I mean, it might be words or something you could utter. Are any of these others pronounceable? Well. Maybe not, but the other advantage is you could write it down and still be able to make out what you've written sometime later on, as long as you kind of mark out where the capital letters are. And yeah, that's capital U, so not particularly great, because that could be confused with a lowercase u very easily. Same for the C's, uppercase C, lowercase C, yeah, not great. But I would say this is easier to write down and still be able to read compared to those completely random passwords from earlier. If you want to generate something completely random, use dash s. Oh, that's a whole lot more random than those passwords above. We have no sequences in the letters, and we have a complete mixture of upper and lower case. But here's some other options you can use. So you could say no capital letters, numbers only, no numbers, symbols. Include at least a special symbol in the password. Don't include ambiguous characters. That might be useful. So let's try dash by 30 and 9 passwords. Oh yes, very much more random there. So that was a look at PWGen, a very handy tool for generating passwords in the Linux terminal. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.